And so I had a question for you. Uh, when you were going through your studies, your initial studies, uh, did they talk about the gospel, meaning that Jesus died for your sins? Yes. And that he rose again from the dead? Yes. Yes, it's actually kind of one of the more dangerous parts about this uh, this church is that they do back it up with scripture. Mm-hmm. And they do talk about how um, how Jesus died for your sins, but they want it to be much more personal for you. Mm-hmm. Um like um oh he he died for you which you you know most people they get that they get that like that's a really awesome thing that this person who did not have to do this did this for us Mm -hmm. it's really great but what they want is they want you to feel guilt for it Mm -hmm. and if you don't feel that guilt then you're doing something wrong Mm -hmm. um so that was that was the purpose of that um that exercise there was that they wanted me to feel guilty for what was done to him. Okay. In your experience, do you feel like you were putting your faith in Jesus for your salvation? Or do you feel like it was the church? Or do you feel like it was a combination? I feel like it's a combination. Like okay. the, the, the church, they want you to, to put Jesus first. Um, but there's always talk of, of the, 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 the church's, uh, Jesus's bride, um, things like that. And like when, when they're talking about putting the church directly after, um, Jesus, it, it, they mean it very literally, mm. um, not just, you know, not missing church on Sunday, but, um, always, um, always being there when a disciple needs you type thing, which leaves you to being taken advantage of quite a lot. Okay. And did they walk you through the sin study? Yes. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about how that works? Um, the, the sin study, um, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to turn on cult brain here for a second. I'm going to walk you through the sin study. Um, sin study begins um, with uh, a challenge to the, uh, to the person that's, that's studying. Um, we tell them, uh, here is a, a list of, um, of sins that Paul had wrote, written out to, I, I can't remember which church it was, but he had written out um, a list of sins. And um, what you do is you take that and uh, take everything quite literally. Um, if you did something, elaborate. If, if um, like, like, um, like for instance, uh, with, really what they kind of focus on mostly is, is sexual immorality. There's, a, there's just, they, they really focus on that. But uh, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to I'm going to kind of go into like um, like theft here. Mm-hmm. Um, what they want to know is when you did it, um, uh, what you stole, things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, they want very very gory details. Um, and then they go over the sins of omission. Um, and those ones are just as like like they they, they say that those ones are just as bad, not as if not worse. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to go over it and over it and over it quite a few times. Mm. And what they're looking for is very detailed lists mm. of what a person has done. Mm. Um, and the reason that they want this is they say that it's because they want, um, they want to be able to, you know, have everything out in the open uh, for when you get baptized. So it can all just go away. Um, but the, the sin studies are very, the sin studies are very emotional because a lot of people, they want to, they want to hide these things and, um, they, they don't want to talk about these things. They don't want to talk about that time that their parents, weren't home and their babysitter molested them. They don't want to talk about 
They don't want to talk about being hurt. They don't want to talk about their crazy teenage years. They don't want to be held accountable when they've, uh, when they've grown up. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they, I've, I've heard it before. I'm not that same. I'm not that person that I was then and hearing, but you are, you are that person. You are that person that did that. You're that, mm. you're, you're that same person. They want, they want you to, um, they want you to feel very, very guilty for everything that you've done in your life. Um, and things that even you haven't done. And the, the sins of omission. And it's like, um, you thought about doing this. Mm. Even if you didn't do it, you're still guilty because you thought about doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they, uh, they quote how, um, you know, if a, if a man looks at a woman in lust, then it's, a, it's, it's as bad as, you know, type, type thing. You know, it's, 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 ev- it's, just, it's very destructive. And uh, that's the sin study is where they lose the most people, to be honest, because a stronger person they won't put up with that. A, a person that knows, hey, I'm not, I'm not guilty for the things that I, I did before because I'm, I'm not the same person. I mean, I, I, I've grown. I, I've made up for my sin. Um, a person, a person that's stronger, they, they won't, they won't stay for this. I've actually seen people leave after this in study like there's this determination to leave and they cut everyone off and they just don't they don't talk anymore and um, actually uh i actually know of at least at least one person who's done it and i actually uh, after i um after i found out about everything that's going on in the church i i texted her and i told her you need to stay away <laughs> she's like i was already planning on it so she's way ahead of me on that um but they, uh, they want, they want a certain level of guilt before mm-hmm. they set in and tell you that everything is going to be okay. 